Hello Virgos, so this is the reading that I got for you guys for the last two weeks of June and I'm so so sorry for being MIA but I've been really busy outside of tarot, okay, but I will be uploading daily videos, okay. Um, so for the first card that I got for you guys for the last two weeks is the Six of Cups, okay. I also got the Ten of Swords, the Three of Cups, the King of Wands in reverse, the Four of Wands, and the Death card. So what I'm seeing is that Two ways, okay? I'm seeing the first way, you know, you reconnected with someone. Everything was good the first couple of days, the first couple of hours, the first couple of weeks. I don't know where you realize this is not going to work out, okay? It went south real quick, okay? It went to 100 to 0 real quick <laughs> in reverse order, okay? Like, um, you guys definitely see it's just not going to work out. Another way this can go is that you guys have been dealing with this person for some time now and it's really hot and cold and it's really karmic and it's really like, I hate you, I love you, you know, that type of energy. And both of you guys feel this way. It's like mutual, okay? Um, because I'm getting a really push and pull and I think the main reason why is because your love language and their love language is different. And what I mean love language is based, basically how you guys feel love and how you give love, okay? So probably one person, they like to spend a lot of time. That's the way that they feel love and that's the way that they give love. Some by, and then the, the, the other person may feel like it's communication. It may feel like it's a word of affirmation, like speaking nice things and stuff like that. It's like the word, I mean, the love language is like completely different. That's why there's so much push and pull. Or basically both of you guys are off, like operating from a really... um masculine type of energy okay um and what i mean is not like you know your sex okay i'm talking about just the energy probably both of you guys are thinking too much with your head and you guys are having too much pride both of you guys okay um and that's why there's such like horrible like women is really good women is really bad okay um it's really bipolar it's really emotional roller coaster that's what i'm getting now, the zodiac signs that you might be dealing with might be a cancer, okay? You did came out in their reading, yeah. So, you guys might be dealing with a cancer. It also could be a Scorpio. It could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I got a lot of signs. I got almost everybody, okay? Um, this reading, I think, is going to be kind of long because it's, it's, it was a really interesting reading, okay? You guys have, like, the most interesting reading. Um, now, for the Romance Angels, I got Healing Family Issues very soon, Love Yourself First, and Worth Waiting For, okay? So, yeah, I feel like with the Six of Cups and Healing Family Issues, just trying to see how can this, how far this can go. And we're very soon just trying to say the past person's returning, but Love Yourself First and Worth Waiting For, it's like you in a battle within yourself. Like, when you deal with this person, you feel like you're at war at yourself, okay? Because you probably realize, you like, you probably feel like, with another person, you won't tolerate that behavior from another person. But with them, it's like, it's like whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's not like whatever, but it's like you still deal with them, but you at the same time is in conflict with your own self, okay? And I feel like you are questioning yourself, like, do you really love this person? Or do you feel like they're for the moment, Okay. Um, do you feel like there's something empty inside? I feel like you are actually even analyzing your own self with love yourself first, okay? But what the worth waiting for is like at the same time you have strong feelings for them. So it's like it's kind of confusing you, okay? Now, when I clarify healing family issues, we got the king of swords, okay? So yeah, you guys probably haven't spoken for a long time. Both of you guys is playing the silent treatment, okay? Now, but very soon, I got the Six of Pentacles in verse. So, even though this person is coming back into your life, I feel like this person may cause more imbalances into your life, okay, in the near future. And when I clarify, love yourself first, look at the Five of Swords, okay? So, yeah, this is someone who definitely probably say hurtful things to you. Um, they're very slick with their mouth, okay? Um, this is someone who could be a narcissist, someone who's very abusive, and you got to stay away from those people, okay? Because... That emotional pain, it's horrible, but this person can also be physically, physically abusive as well, okay? And when I clarify worth waiting for, I got the Six of Swords and Two of Pentacles. Like, yeah, you guys want to move on, but at the same time, he's like, uh, I don't know, I, I, I really do like this person, okay? Now, when I clarify the Six of Cups, I got the Seven of Cups, 
the Nine of Cups, and the Fool in Reverse. So I feel like even though this person may put you through hell and back, it's like you still have a strong feeling for them and you don't know why. <laughs> you don't know why. You don't know why you're still in love with this person. You feel like they put a spell on you. Like you feel like it's you're confused of why. You asking your own self, like, why are you still in love with this person? And then I got the Knight of Cups and I got the Four in Reverse. But at the same time, it's like you're not wanting to give your all to this person because you know this person is um, not doing the same for you, okay? Now, when I clarify the Ten of Swords, I got the Two of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups in Reverse, okay? So yeah, I feel like you guys did um, had a major break. Even, like, okay, they just say you guys reconcile earlier this year, right? Then a month after reconciliation, you guys don't speak no more. I feel like that's what happened. I feel like you guys reconciled previously, then it just stopped, and then now you guys are trying to reconcile again. It's like a a stop and a go effect, okay? Um, now with the King of Pentacles, when you guys was not talking, you really were trying to focus on yourself, okay? They was kind of indecisive of whether or not... Um, they can live being without you, okay? But I feel like you guys are just focusing on yourself. Now, when I got the Three of Cups, at the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. So these two cards came out together, okay, as a first clarifier for Three Cups. So I feel like this person is definitely returning, but they're returning in, like, on a low frequency. They're probably just trying to come back because they feel lonely or because um, they're trying to be intimate with you, Okay. And when I clarify, the Nine of Wands got the Justice. So they may have a front, like they want something balanced with you. But again, with the Six of Pentacles on first, I feel like they're lying. They're lying to you and they're lying to themselves, okay? <laughs> and I got the Devil, yeah, because this person is still operating in a low frequency. So if this person is uh, abusive, say hurtful shit to you, let that person go for it because this person is going to keep on lowering your um, self-confidence and um, lowering your self-esteem, Okay where you're not seeing things clearly. When you have low self-esteem or um, low self-worth, you don't see yourself clearly, okay? It's very distorted. So don't let this person distort your perception of yourself because I do see this person have very negative energy, very toxic, okay? And I got the moon card, the eight of swords, and the four of swords. And the main reason why they do that is because they like that control. They like that power play that they have over you. Now, when I clarify the King of Wands in reverse, I got the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Temperance, and the Queen of Pentacles. So this is another storyline for a different set of Virgos. What I'm seeing, if this person was like on and off with you, it's hot and cold, I feel like this person was in a marriage, and I think you probably know that, or in a relationship, and you guys already know that. But at the same time, when they was taking a break or when they come back to you, they pretend like, oh, like me and my wife, me and my husband, we're not good blah 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 but in reality they are because i got the ten of cops and i have the seven of swords they just like this person want to eat their cake and have it too okay and i feel like a lot of you guys are done playing this game like you're done like you rather just focus on yourself but you do have a strong feelings for them okay and every time when they come back it's like it's like a test from the universe to see if you're gonna choose yourself okay if you're gonna love yourself first if you're gonna put yourself first or are you going to take them back, okay? Now, when I clarify the Four of Wands, I got the Queen of Wands and the Seven of Wands, okay? I mean, the Five of Wands. So, what I'm seeing is that, yeah, this person, this is going to relate to the Virgos who've been dealing with someone who is with someone else as well, okay? This person's still gonna be married to this person, and I feel like the other woman, I feel like the other woman or the other man know about you, okay? Um, and they might cause drama towards the end of the, towards the end of June, okay? Even though the person that you're dealing with is playing both of you guys, okay? But I feel like this person may stand up stand for for their um, wife or husband or their boyfriend or girlfriend, okay? Now, when I clarify the death card, I got the inference, the two of wands in the verse, the page of wands, the eight of wands, and the ten of pentacles. So what I'm seeing is that, yeah, with the death card and the inference, 
Yeah, so I feel like, yeah, they're going to have a major fight. You, okay, this is only going to pertain to the Virgos who in a third party situation. If you are the other person, the person that they're married to or have an official relationship with, they're going to have a major fight, okay? Even though, um, even though the person that you're dealing with it's going to be neutral, okay? They're not going to really pick a side who they really want to be with. I feel like that person, they're going to really try to defend the person that you're dealing with, right? But at the same time, they're going to realize that that person has feelings for you. It's not like, oh, just one night stand or whatever. They, you're going to actually realize they have strong feelings for you too. And I feel like it's going to cause, a, a, I don't know if it's going to be a permanent end, but I do see them breaking up. Okay, and I do see this person that you was dealing with, okay, who put you in a third party situation, they're going to communicate with you saying they want something real with you. But with the very soon and the six of pentacles being reversed, it's trying to say it won't go anywhere. So just play your cards right and realize the situation is not worth it. Okay, but that's what I'm seeing. Okay, this is this is only for the Virgos who know that they're in a third party situation. Okay. Um, but a lot of interesting stuff, okay? You guys have a lot of interesting drama <laughs> in your love life, okay? Um, but yeah, that's the reading that I got for you, Virgos. And again, thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can at queenforthetarot at gmail.com.